So when we're talking about dancing on the beat, typically what happens is that our foot strikes the floor right on the beat or a little bit later than the beat if we're walking on the slow beat. But the other thing we want to consider is where is our body weight relative to the beat. For example, my foot can strike the floor going forward, but all my body weight stays over the back foot. My foot could strike the floor and my body weight ends up in the middle when the beat happens. Or my body weight could be totally over the forward foot when the beat happens. So if I do the different examples with the music, right here I'm putting all my body weight right when the beat happens. It has a sense of urgency and drive to it. If I do the exact opposite and I keep my body weight back, my foot is striking the floor on the beat, but my body stays towards the back foot. It has a really slow, held back, more lyrical feel to it, more calm feel to it. And if my weight is 50-50 relative to the beat, here's the beat, beat. That would be, I think, what we do most naturally or most easily, like when we're walking down the street, is that the snapshot of the beat is when, you're, when your weight is in between both feet. So when you start playing with that, when you start mixing and matching, whether your body weight is over the front foot, 100% relative to the beat, versus is it held back, here's 100% again, here's held back, 100% held back, it starts to give just your basic walk, and later on, if you apply this to other pieces of vocabulary, it'll give a lot more dynamic range and rich feel and different coloring and different shades to the things that you're used to doing.